Welcome to Ain't Scare Garage. I lied. Part five. Stand by. Chuck commented that after watching four videos that started with replacing exhaust studs that, well, I didn't actually show replacing exhaust studs or any of the exhaust works at the end. And he was kind of disappointed in that. And, and I understand that because that was just, you know, that was a failure on my part. So what I'm going to do is I'm dig through this old footage that I got because I got a lot of footage. I had to move it around on the computer even to keep it and see if we can't cobble something together uh, to show you everything I did on the exhaust. You've seen all the rest of it. It's not important. And I did skip by the uh, exhaust. This job was a pain in the butt. And you saw when I fell, well, for the whole month, this was hurting. It's finally healed up now, a little over a month later. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but I got the mic down here, so maybe you can. Down in here is a I don't know if you can hear it. Step it back. I mean, exhaust. Everything's smoking down there because uh, I sprayed everything with PB Blaster. You know me and PB Blaster. But those rusty old bolts right there, trying to find them. And that one way back in there, I don't know if you see it right there. Okay, they're kind of rusty and they've been on there a long time. I believe that's where the leak is. So first I tried using a wrench that wouldn't get in there. I tried using a, just a ratchet and a uh, socket and I could get in it but I couldn't get enough juice on it to get it to break free so I tried the breaker, uh, not the breaker bar but the, the uh, torque wrench which was long and it didn't do anything in the breaker bar. Finally I did get the ones off of the front manifold but the back ones just wound up breaking off i heated them and everything but i didn't heat them with oxygen acetylene all the thing i have is map gas and that's basically a really hot cigarette lighter okay so finally uh, we got down to everything and broke off and i realized that i had to pull the back manifold i didn't have to pull the front manifold but as long as i have to take everything apart the front manifold would come off too so I pulled that as well. That would be this one right here. And you gotta take this whole bracket off just to get that sucker off. And I'd leave it on, but you gotta take it off in order to get the, uh, um, in order to get, in order to get the manifold gasket back on it. What we need to do now, Let's clean this, uh, clean this up. Got the flap disc here. Should clean all them extra welds off it and clean the metal up. That's why it didn't stick was because it wasn't properly clean. Trying to weld up under the truck, is, it just ain't easy. I just plug this in. I love my little plug there. Let's see what we can do can't see crap through these things, they're a mess. I flipped this without touching that hot spot. <laughs> At least turn it around a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get the cutter get that off of there let's see if I can find a actual grinding disc this is a grinder this should do the trick 24 grit I'll oh, take it down I got a toolbox I keep this with this and I don't lose it I've lost on how many of these stupid things buy a new grinder and put that away and next thing I know I don't know where it is now I don't want to use the grinder just for cleaning rust off I want to take I'm just using this to take those old welds that I did that are not good 
once I get rid of them, I'll go back to the flap disc because I don't want to take too much metal off. But I do want to take these welds off. I don't want to cut too much more. At this point, the flap disc. At this point, the flap disc will take the rest of it down without damaging the pipe. It's one thing I don't want to do is damage the pipe. Then I'm buying a new pipe. Don't want to buy a new pipe. All right. I don't want to weld anything that's not got that's not perfectly clean. I don't want to weld the rust. That's why it broke before. So, got a brand new one. As you know, I had to cut the other one off. This should fit. Uh, should fit right on here, just like that. It's awfully large, but it's okay. I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna tack it on a couple spots here and on the bottom. Then we're gonna take a hammer, we're gonna bend it in so that it fits everything. I could tack that right there, and I think it'll be fine. I'll make sure it's straight-ish. Lining up with the other pipes, that should be about right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yep. There we go. All right. Very good tack. That's better. Missed it completely. Good. Before I go pounding on it, I want to make sure it's going to stay where I put it. Before I weld this here, I want to take that down. I know the camera's going to shake. Alright, I'm going to put the camera down. You can see this way. So what I did here was pounded all this down here and you see it's now it's flush, flush this anyway. I'm gonna weld that whole thing up. And we'll get a good weld on it so it don't break this time.
So I bought another one. Now, you, you gotta realize, this one is way better than the other one. You see, this is, because this is a warrior. Okay, and this is just a something master. So this one is far better than this. This was far better than this. This is a warrior and this is a master. Okay. I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. Freaking Harbor Freight. <laughs> There we go. I'm just gonna close that up like that. Now it's completely closed. Beautiful. Pop that on there. And if you can see here, no more opening. And I put this on low. I don't want to blow through it. Can you see the cracks right here? There, I should hold it. See what happens. I didn't hear anything crack. One little place where it can leak. Bunch of place where I can leak. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pick them right now. There. Ah, 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 ah. Little hole. Okay. Little hole like that, let it cool. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build around it a little bit at a time to spot welding. There we go. 
Give myself something to weld to. I think. Weld into the weld. I got a little dirty. Make sure it stays clean. Clean it up, see what it looks like. All right, that looks fine. I shouldn't have any leaks out of that. I'm gonna leave it just like it is. Uh -huh. All right, this is now ready to go on. Way close enough. It ain't going nowhere, that's for sure. See how much the other one fights me. doesn't want to go. Will they ever come out again? Are they ever going to do it again? I'm going to get a new manifold. I don't think I'll ever have to pull these out again. 
these are brass they shouldn't rust if you're doing this job in winter you may have to heat this man these manifolds to get them back on uh, the bolt holes are so tight on them that if it gets too cold and that metal cracks a little bit you can't get the bolts back in the hole so you may have to heat it up to get it to the metal to expand so you can get the bolts back in the hole so you get the stupid things back on the truck yeah let's see if i can get this thing up on here wants to fight me. Yes. Well, now we've got everything ready. I'm going to slide the exhaust pipe and the muffler and the whole thing right up on under the truck here. Once got that up there, <clears throat> then I start fighting it and wiggling it and jamming it until I get it in where it needs to be so I can tighten everything up. got on the truck and realized that I couldn't get the exhaust past the transmission and it's because I added that piece on there so what I had to do was a little peanut butter blaster there on the um, transmission bolts and what I'm gonna do is take them transmission bolts right on out of there get this socket on first I was using the big jack to hold to jack the truck up. I did have a jack stand under, but I'm too lazy to go get the jack out. So I have the little jack under here, and so I had to put a whole bunch of blocks of wood on here just to get it to go high enough to jack up the transmission. So I got the 
big monster block and a couple of pieces of plywood. Well, that seemed to be just about enough. And then we're going to crank her on up. Make sure she stays on the transmission. And we'll get the transmission to go up just a little bit there. Right there, just about like that. And I will fight this thing over and right about here is where I bump into the camera. So that's all I got of that. So I got that all straightened out and got that in there the way it needed to be. Now I got these pipes lined up pretty close to where they go into the manifolds. And I just got to put the bolts on the bottom of uh, all four of these because it's two separate manifolds, remember. And it's got a split pipe that comes out of the catalytic converter. And once you get these bolts on, then we can go ahead and tighten everything up. Got to play with it. ratchet on them. We've got them tightened up just enough so that they're, they're down right about where I want them. And we'll get the ratchet on here and ratchet these bad boys down. So Chuck, I appreciate your comment. I went back through here and I got through the footage as much as I could and put this together as well as I possibly could here for you. And uh, sorry I didn't do that. I mean this whole five part thing was about exhaust. So I made this whole video just exhaust and that's about all there is to see we got everything tightened up and uh you saw on the other one it ran fine and it's nice and quiet now and i'm quite happy with it so if anyone wants to see all the other stuff the freeze plugs the, the whatever all else i had to do to this crazy thing you know there's five parts to this so there's another four parts all right, that's going to about wrap it up for this one. Uh, hopefully, I'll come back with a better video next week. And till then, see ya.